Welcome to the Harper Classroom. I'm Dr. Harper. This Excel tutorial video will calculate the M chart and the R chart. So let's bring in Excel. Suppose from the experiment we have a sample size of 8, we have a grand mean of 200, and we have an average range of 40. Also, from the tables, for the factors for computing controlled chart line table, for sample size of 8 we'll pull off the A2, D3, D4 and small d2. We pull those over and here we have 0 0.373, 0 0.136, 1.864, and 2.847. Now for the upper control limit for the M chart, that just equals the mean plus A2 times the range. The center line is just the grand mean. The lower control limit is the mean minus A2 times the range. For the upper control limit for the R chart, it's D4 times the range. The center line is just the average range. And the lower control limit equals D3 times the range. So now let's use the charts to monitor production. Since the sample size per sample is 8, we want to generate 8 measurements per sample to represent production. And each of these measurements will be a normally distributed random variable, where the probability is a random number generator. The mean is the grand mean, and the standard deviation is estimated by the range divided by the factor small d2. And we want the mean and range and factor to be frozen, so we highlight them in F4 to freeze. And then we copy this over for the first sample, and then we copy this down for a number of samples, and let's go large enough right here. And that should be enough data to represent the characteristics of our control charts. Now we'll call this production. And we know that we want to measure the mean for each sample and the range for each sample because this is what we'll be plotting on the M chart and the R chart. So the mean is the average of all the eight measurements in the first sample, and our range is going to equal the maximum of all eight values minus the minimum of all eight values in our first sample. And so there's the mean and range for our first sample, and then we copy this down for all the samples, and this is what we're going to be plotting on our M chart and R chart. So now, let's plot each one. So let's start with the M chart. We know we want to plot the mean on a chart with these values. And so we want a chart with the lower control limit, the center line, and the upper control limit. And so we highlight these on the boundary, double click, and we can reformat. And so the lower control limit is given by that number. The center line is here, and the upper control limit is that number. So now we want these to be the same for each sample, and then we copy these down for every sample. And this is what we will plot. So let's highlight the, con the control chart and the mean. Control shift down arrow. And now let's insert a chart, a stack chart, and we'll call this the M chart. And this is what we will interpret. And there's the lower control limit, upper control limit, center line, and there's our random component data. So next, let's look at the R chart. So we know for the R chart, we want to plot the range. So let's bring the range over.
and we're going to plot it on the chart with a lower control limit, center line, and upper control limit. Lower control limit, center line, upper control limit, and highlight the columns and double click on the boundary to reformat. So now the lower control limit is given by that. The center line is given by that number. And the upper control limit is there. And we want to copy these over for every sample all the way down. And like we did before, we highlight the range along with the control chart. Control shift down arrow. And again, we insert our stacked graph, and there's our R chart. And so now we have the R chart with a lower control limit, upper control limit, center line, and there's our range, which is just a random component. So this ends the Excel tutorial video on the M chart and the R chart. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.